Like a lot of Americans, a woman in upstate New York needed a break from political news on TV. Trust me, I sympathize. But she had no idea she was about to make a life-saving choice. Here is CBS's Steve Hartman on the road. Of all the choices, all the places you could click, you see how fluffy that is? all the videos you could surf, why would anyone settle on a sleeping pig? It had to be one of the least interesting things <laughs> on the internet. Yeah, she's not putting on a show <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> but it's all, it was also the least stressful. <laughs> With political tensions roiling, all Laura Palladino wanted that Friday night was a boring animal live stream. Unfortunately, her desire for drama-free programming came to a crashing halt after the pig knocked over a heat lamp, buried it in straw, and set the barn ablaze. And I started freaking out. And as if that wasn't enough. I was the only one watching. The only one in the world who knew what was happening. Which is what made like my heart sink. Like there was nothing I could do and it was terrifying. Yeah. Laura tried calling the farm, but no one answered. She even tried 911. But what were they gonna do? She lived 80 miles away. That's why deep down, Laura knew it was hopeless but she kept trying different numbers anyway. And would you believe? They busted in. She finally got a hold of the farmer just in time. I started crying, like this is just a lot. And he was like holding her, he's like, I'm so sorry. Like you could tell how much he loved those animals. I was like, oh, yeah. Hi. Hi Laura. <laughs> yeah. This week, Laura traveled to June Farms in West Sand Lake, New York to meet farm manager, Josh Vicks. Thank you. Yeah. Josh had cared for that pig named Ethel since it was a piglet definitely inspiring yeah. to know that there are other people that feel as much affection and love towards these animals that we do. The only one uninspired was Ethel herself, Hi. who appears to have emerged from the ordeal completely unshaken. The farm can now proceed with its plan to breed Ethel, promising the first piglet will be named Is that good? Laura. I never thought I'd have a pig named after me, but I'll take it. And we'll take her. Why not? As a reminder that most people are heroes just waiting for their moment. Hi, girl. Steve Hartman, on the road near Albany, New York.